This is Anne-Marie Concepcion with another great tip for InDesign Secrets. Take a look at this caption over here on the left, or actually it's a summary of the play Othello, and look at the stroke to the left. Now a lot of people might think, oh, she created that stroke by just dragging it in. But actually, if I deleted some text here, the stroke automatically shrinks to match the size of the paragraph. So what's happening? Did InDesign slip in a paragraph rule left and right in addition to its existing top and bottom? No, this is actually done with a paragraph border. Uh, so it's not quite obvious, but let me show you how it's done. I'm going to go right to the uh, borders and shading here. You can, of course, include this in a style, but this is a little easier to demo. Make sure that preview is turned on and simply what's happening is that this paragraph is set to have a border, but the stroke is zero points on all three sides except for the left one. That's all, right? So if I wanted one on both the left and the right, I could say three points there as well, and we'll see uh, what it looks like. Of course, we can't see it yet because it's, I think, there it is. And you just needed to refresh a little bit. But I want to turn that off because I just want to show one on the left because I often use this when I'm doing, say, captions or callouts that I want one stroke on the left or the right of a paragraph. So you can choose any kind of type of stroke that you want and weight and tint and color and so on. And you can also offset it a bit right here. If you are going to have multiple paragraphs that have a single uh, stroke on the left, you want to turn on merge consecutive borders and shading because you don't want a gap in between the paragraphs if you have like uh, space above or below. But I thought it was kind of cool that like, let's say that I want to increase this. I'm going to jump it up to like six points and notice that I chose the cap as a round cap. So this is the default cap with the square cut, but you could say a round cap, which I think looks kind of nifty. All right, so that's all. You can save this as a style, and now you have your own secret way of creating paragraph rules on the left and the right. Just use borders. I hope you like this tip, and there's thousands more at InDesignSecrets.com.